Hi, in this video we will see how to create a simple mega menus in Elementor using only CSS without any plugins. What I mean by mega menus is something like this. If you hover over the solutions menu item in this header, you can see that we have some menu items with pages that are put in two columns. It basically creates this uh, a little bit more complex uh, menus. But in this case, we will focus on something like this that is very simple and straightforward and we will use only Elementor and CSS without any external plugins. So let's get started. I have my Elementor page here and first, uh, let's say that I want to create a simple navigation menu here above my headline. In order to do that, first I need to create a menu. So go to your WordPress dashboard and within Appearance and click on menus. Now here you can basically, on the left side, you will see the list of your pages. And I have just some basic template pages that, or testing pages, it doesn't matter. For this purpose, I just created um, two, let's say two main menu items, which are anchors and test blank. Within these uh, pages, I've then put other pages that I want to appear on hover. So basically, if I hover on the anchors menu item, it will show me a drop down with all these pages that are below uh, this page. And the same applies to test blank. For the purposes of this video, I've put six pages under each uh, of these two menu items, but of course you can put as many as you want. Uh, just to show you how you basically put a page under, uh, a, uh, under the main page so that it appears as a drop down, I will show you, let's say that I want to put this test for blog page again, and I will select it, click add to menu. Now it automatically adds it as a first level page, but if I want to put it under test blank so that it appears on as a drop down, I just need to drag it and slightly move it to the right and it will adjust and move under that page. Now I will delete this because I don't need it. So just remove and click on save menu. Now let's go back to my page. I will search for the widget called navigation or nav, nav menu actually. So I will just drag it here above my headline. And now here you can check and you can find your menu. I called my menu that I just created menu one. And let's say I won't basically spend time styling this. I will just remove this underline. And you can see that if I hover, it shows me all these pages in single in one column. Now, first, I just want to apply a simple uh, shadow just to see what we are doing. So I will go to the style, drop down and apply a box shadow. So let's basically, you, you can see that it's already better. I will just reduce the opacity a little bit and maybe increase blur and click on update. And now you can see what happens. Now, the first thing that we need to do is that on the desktop version of my menu, I want these menu items to appear in two columns instead of a single column. So when I select this menu, and if you're using Elementor Pro, in the advanced panel, you can find custom CSS field. If you're using a free version, I will show you how to do this using um, simple custom CSS, but in an external plugin. So just stay tuned for this. For now, I'm using custom CSS field here. And first of all, I need to apply these changes just to my desktop version. So I will type at media, min width and 1024 pixels. Now, the next thing I want to do is type selector because this will actually select the current element that I'm editing, which is the nav menu widget. And and now, basically, what we will be doing is applying two columns to our dropdown. In order to do this, type Elementor nav menu. And then um, the next thing that I will type is Elementor nav menu dropdown. And I will type column count two. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be two. It can be any number. It can be three or four. For this purpose, for purposes of this video, I will use two columns. Now click on update. And let's see what it does. You can see that it puts the menu items in two columns. But 
if I hover on the test blank, I also have two columns here. Now let's assume that we don't want two columns on each menu item. Let's say that here, for example, I want just one column or three columns. So if you want to customize the column count for each menu item separately, what we need to do is within Elementor Nav menu tag here, we want to type list item and we want to apply it just to the first list item. Basically, all these menu items are list items. So anchors, the type, the, the title anchors is the first list item. So I will type in ant child and put one. And this will apply the column count just on the first, which means to anchors. If you hover on test blank, now you can see that it has only one column, which is exactly what we wanted. You can do this for any basically list item. It can be the second one, it can be the third and child. So you can basically customize the column count for each menu item like this. Now, let's assume that um, if you if I show you here on the solutions tab, you can see that I have a asymmetrical column. So I don't have the, the equal number of items within each column. Let's say that I have uh, 10 items and I don't want them to be uh, split as 5 plus 5. I want them to be, let's say, 8 plus 2 or 7 plus 3. Now, this is very useful if, as in this example, you have a title or subtitle here in the menu and you want to list all the items within that category and then you want to split the category or to basically show other category in a separate column. And let's say that that other category has different amount of items. So in these cases, it's useful to create asymmetric columns and to customize the column break. How we will do that is that I will type here again, selector, and again, I will use the Elementor nav menu. Again, I want to apply this to the first item, which means that I will type li as in list item and child and one. Then again, I will do Elementor nav menu and drop down. And now within this drop down, I also have a list or list items. And I, what I want to do is that I want to create um, a custom column break. Let's say that here I want my column to be four items plus two items. So in the first column, I would have four items. And then before the fifth item, I will use a column break. This means that within this drop down, I will type list item and child and five. And then I want to create a break before this fifth child or before this fifth item. So I will type break before column. I will type in important just in case. And now let's see. Now you can see that it created this uh, column break before my fifth item. This can be completely customized for any item. It can be before the sixth, before the seventh, before the second, as you wish. And our test blank item is still within one column. So we are basically customizing completely uh, any menu item and any basically column break that we want. Now, if you don't have this uh, custom CSS field right here, and you're using a free version of Elementor, you can achieve the same effect uh, basically uh, by selecting the nav menu, going to the layout tab, and assigning a CSS class to this menu. Let's say that I want to call it custom menu. And just remember this name. Now I will go to my custom CSS field and exclude all of this. So you can see that basically our menu is reset. Click on update. And now if you're using a custom CSS plugin where you can edit your CSS and I'm using a custom CSS and JavaScript plugin, go there and what we want to do is basically use the same code, which was media for the desktop version, but instead of selector, type in custom menu. And basically, instead of selector, type in custom menu, click save or update. And now let's see when we refresh our page, what happens. You can see that it applies the same effect 
basically using the same code. The only difference is that if you are using a custom CSS plugin, you don't use a selector, but you use a custom CSS class that you assign to your menu or to any item instead of that selector. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.